Hello everyone, my name is Christian. Welcome to my hobby blog. Today we are doing a pretty fun and anticipated haul video. I've been waiting a while now for the rest of my partner label uh, acquisitions, I guess, to come in. Plus the new monthly package is here. So I'm really excited to finally get that done. And I'll do an unboxing, I guess, of the July package, um, maybe le this week. Um, I'll be out of town all next week um, from, I guess, August 3rd until, or August, August 1st until the 6th. So uh, I'll try to get at least the unboxing up before then, but I think my attention will be pretty... Um, I guess scattered until then as I get ready for the big events that I am going to so I'm really excited to go into this uh, I have a good amount of um, kind of releases here and I'm just gonna just go through uh, I haven't really looked at these yet uh, I just opened it and it was like okay I'm going to uh, go through them and one of them is actually really weird. Uh, we'll see. But I guess we'll get started now. So the first release looks like we have the um, the partner labels here. So the first one, which I think is part of the monthly package, is one that I have been looking forward to. It is the film Riding Wrongs. And this is a Cynthia Rock Rock, uh, Yuen Bao film I believe and the way that it opens is pretty interesting it's the first time I've seen this from a vinegar syndrome release but they have the booklet outside and I'll go way more into this during the unboxing but I believe it is uh Yuen Bao Koi Yuen okay that's who it is um, I haven't seen this movie, but I know of it. I've known of it for a couple years now, and it's just been hard to find, so I haven't been able to watch it. So, I'm excited to dive into this. I know nothing about it. Cynthia Rothrock is a lot of fun. Um, so I'll, I'll most likely include this in the package if it isn't. Because, okay, this is not a BSA title, so this is part of the package, so... Can't wait to dive into that. Um, so next, we have the film Victoria, which I got because it was like a Romanian indie film, I believe. A Bulgarian indie film. And it's all about uh, some family drama going on. Uh, I read the description and I was, you know, moderately uh, interested in it. So I'm excited to watch this and see what my reactions are. So this is Victoria, a Bulgarian film. I don't think I have any Bulgarian films in my collection. So filling in some blind spots here. Uh, the next movie I got sold out like instantly. And I didn't even know that until way after the fact. Because I've heard of this movie. I've... Um, heard some pretty good things about it i'm trying to see if i recognize anybody who was involved um i do not but this is the film jack b nimble i love that slip cover i love kind of that fire and ice duality and the color scheme and so this sold out like literally instantly within a like a few hours when it went went live and I'm not sure why. I, I have heard of this movie before, but I don't think I've ever heard any, like, overwhelming praise for it. So I'm just kind of wondering what factored into why this sold out so fast. But I... If I end up not liking it... Okay, never mind. So it ends up that uh, this movie is actually a gay romance film is what it says on the back. So I'm already pretty hyped for this. Um, so hopefully this is good. I, I really hope it is. Um, 
I know nothing about it outside of what I just read. Um, so that is Jack B. Nimble. Great, great slipcover. So this next one I got because I saw the trailer for it on Instagram, I guess. Because I'm okay watching trailers for indie films if I see it on Instagram or something like that. But uh, this is the film we're all going to the World's Fair. And I love the design of this. This came in like a plastic slip, I guess. And when you open it, I don't even... It feels like it got submerged in like candy or something. Because it's like very weird feeling on these... Uh, I guess on that text you can kind of see it along here and right here. But um... I saw the trailer for this on Instagram, and it's like a webcam-focused uh, horror film that's apparently supposed to be actually good. It's not like Unfriended or any of those other pretty terrible movies, but I'm excited for this one. This has been pretty hyped up the last few months, so I'm really happy there's a physical release of this because I don't have iTunes. I think that's really the only place you could find it, but I love how it's horizontal on the slip cover. So it just still opens, you know, normally like this, but I love that it's like that. So I'll have to put that up, like, up on the shelf when I finish it. So we're all going to the World's Fair. I am very excited for this. This is a recent movie. Uh, last year, I believe. Maybe even this year, but, um... I'm debating on throwing this out, but for now, I will just keep it in its little plastic wrap. Uh, so we're going to go into the final kind of stack here that I got. Uh, this should be the rest of my partner labels and the rest of the uh, monthly package. So the first movie that I got, oh, I can't wait. I, I just got a sneak peek of what else is here. Uh, this one I got because I think I'm going to be collecting every um, Saturn's Core movie now. I have really fell in love with that label lately. And this is the latest movie that they have out. Um, and I think it's the same director as Sinister, which I haven't seen yet, but I've been meaning to. It's on the shelf. It's ready to watch. So this is Ravage. Um, I love these slip covers. You can tell it's shot on video. It has always kind of that really grainy, out-of-focus um, picture on the slipcovers. But, um, and of course, they have the same art on the front. Uh, so I'll have to flip that whenever I get around to it. But um, I'm all over the shot-on-video genre right now. I am totally sold on it. I have just been wowed by a lot of the Saturn's Koi uh, releases, so maybe I should do like a whole live stream about my favorite ones. Maybe a dedicated video, I don't know yet, but this is Ravage. Uh, this next one I'm very excited for because I am a big heavy metal fan. Always have been since I was like six or seven, but uh, this one's a documentary all about uh, kind of this crew of people who just filmed outside a Judas Priest concert. And this movie or documentary is called Heavy Metal Parking Lot. And this is from the Collective uh, partner label, which I don't have any movies by them yet. But um, I'm really excited for this as a heavy metal fan because I get to kind of learn more about those people who don't actually go to the show and instead hang out in the parking lot outside. I've always wondered why people do that, so I'm excited to see if this has any explanations about it, or at least a look into uh, those people, but this is what the normal one looks like. I think this looks great, too. So if you miss out on the slip cover, it's not that big of a deal, but I'm really excited for this one. I may watch this one first, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> that is Heavy Metal Parking Lot. 
This next one, I have been on a Gaspino just phase lately. I ha I watched uh, Enter the Void uh, twice in a row. Uh, first time I watched it, I was not sober. And then I rewatched it the next day, and I was absolutely sober. And I still had no idea what was going on. So, when this was announced, I immediately bought it. I think it went out of print already. So, you may just have the... Uh, whatever it's called, uh, standard edition. But this is a Gaspineau film, a recent one, I believe. Uh, pretty recent. But this is the film Lux Eterna. I think I said that right. It's a Gaspineau movie. I know nothing about it. All I know is that it takes place in the first person or something. Gaspineau is all about um, doing these weird... Uh, movies with unconventional techniques so enter the void is shot from first person view like you are the camera and then uh climax which is my favorite by him uh that one is kind of one shot where they uh, basically act out the entire movie in one location and you watch everyone lose their fucking minds <laughs> but uh I'm reading the back of it. Um, this is from 2019. It's 51 minutes, so I'm a little concerned about that. But it comes with a lot of short films as part of this, including by Pier Paolo Pasolini, out one of our favorite, uh, I guess, transgressive uh, directors who did Salo. Uh, his uh, short film La Ricotta is in here. We have Tony Conrad's, Conrad's uh, The Flicker. We have Ray Gun Virus by Paul Shantis or Sh Sheritz. And then we have The Inauguration of the Pleasure Dome by Kenneth Anger. And it says all those short films were uh, inspired, uh, not inspired by, but Luxaterna was inspired by those short films. But I love the back, by the way, where it says, thank God I'm an atheist. I'm... My attention is captured for this movie. Uh, I love the extra thick uh, slipcase here. Um, I'm just really excited for this. Gaspar Noe is a director who I need to get more into. And I love everything he has done that I have seen. I've only seen like two of his movies, but they're all great. <laughs> that is Lux Eterna by Gaspar Noe. This next one I did not get obviously this came with the package so i'll go a lot more into it uh later but um apparently this is a big foot movie i hope it's good it's the same art style as master of the world which was a january title i believe but this is i'll go more into this of course during the unboxing but this is shriek of the mutilated piece by piece by piece the bodies vanish in Shriek of the Mutilated. I know nothing about this movie. It came in the package. Um, the other movie in this package, I'm very excited for. But this one is a Bigfoot movie from the 1970s. So I hope it's good. The best Bigfoot movie out there is, of course, Suburban and Sasquatch. Um, so I will be comparing this one to that uh, pretty heavily. So I hope it's good. Uh, we have... I guess a woman tied up on a tree. Uh, we have a really ugly uh, yeti looking creature right there. We have someone laying down and then a woman with a hand out. But I think the back is a lot more engaging to look at. But uh, I just hope it's good. Um, I don't really have any expectations for this. And I'll go more into that when I uh, do the unboxing. But the last movie I got... Oh, I guess it's not really a movie. It's more a double feature. But this one I'm very excited for. It's by Jess Franco, who is a director who I've been really meaning to get into. Uh, but this is a double feature of two films by Jess Franco called Undercover Angels. Hopefully it, there was no nudity on that. Um, and then Kiss Me Monster. So I am quite excited to dive into this. 
this is a very small month in regards to the monthly package, but um, I am hoping that the next month, I guess August uh, announcements are awesome because I'm a little nervous about this month. I'm not really into Shriek of the Mutilated. I haven't seen it, but I mean, outside of Jess Franco, uh, this package is really not that exciting outside of Riding Wrongs. But Riding Wrongs was a uh, release that everybody has been waiting for. I know I have, but um, this one especially, I'm really uh, excited for these two. So... Yeah, uh, that was a small haul, um, but I was very excited to finally get this in the mail. I have been waiting a long time for these titles. Uh, after the partner label two months ago, or I guess about a month ago. Well, I guess it was almost two months ago, because it went live on June Fest, I believe. But um, I've been waiting a long time for a lot of these releases, so a lot of the titles I've been waiting on are now here. And especially all these new partner labels that were announced because that was a really good uh, set of partner labels that got announced that month. And it's just really exciting. So without further ado, I'll post the, um, the unboxing at some point this week and I'll try to do some reviews. But... I'll be out of town all next week, from Sunday until Saturday. So I'll try to be quick uh, coming back and doing videos. But just so you know, I will not be doing any recordings next week. So thank you all so much for watching. And please let me know uh, if you've seen these movies and let me know what you think of them. Because I need to get some expectations uh, set. So... Thank you all again for watching.